Greetings, my name is Isaac Scott Green, but you can just call me Dr. Green. Welcome to my office, and today we are not talking about SCP-173. We're talking about the other statue that doesn't kill people. The SCP reviewing today is SCP-011, Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-011 and the area surrounding it are to be cleaned once every day. For safety purposes, cleaning should start at least 30 minutes after sundown. Cleaning should always be performed by at least two personnel, who are also advised to know anything unusual about the item or the debris cleaned up. In a situation where the item cannot be cleaned for more than two days, local residents must be contacted and instructed not to approach the item. Containment Procedures Nullified, 2004 Description SCP-011 is a Civil War memorial statue located in Woodstock, Vermont. The statue is the image of a young male soldier holding a musket at his side and is carved out of granite quarant within the area. Occasionally, SCP-011 has been observed lifting its musket to the sky to fire at birds which attempt to land or defecate on it. Reports details that its movements produce soft grinding sounds, but do not cause it any structural failure. Oddly, the gunfire is very similar to that of a standard firearm, despite observation that the item only loads granite bullets and granite powder into the musket, which is also unharmed by the firing. In spite of its efforts, some vehicle matter does manage to strike SCP-011 and has reportedly become distressed when it has large amounts of feces on it, on some rare occasions even firing at humans. Addendum Those assigned to maintain SCP-011 are to see document number 011-1 for instructions. Document number 011-1, Maintenance Brief Document Archive 2004, accessible to personnel with security clearance 2 011 or higher. Additional information. SCP-011's seeming sentience has increased since the first report of activity in 1995. As of 2004, the item's containment procedures have been dropped, but it remains under constant observation. Recorded below are landmark events in its activity. Timeline March 12, 1995 Woodstock residents report the statue's eyes moving. First sign of activity. September 30, 1995 Statue shoots musket for the first time. October 9, 1995 Statue begins shooting birds from the sky. January 25th, 1996. Registration as SCP-011. Containment procedures begin. April 14th, 1997. SCP-011 observed moving casually and looking around. May 3rd, 2000. After caretaker jokingly shouts, good shot to SCP-011, the item replies, thank you, in a reportedly very human voice. First speech from statue. October 22nd, 2001. SCP-011 has conversation with caretaker 2001. Shooting of birds stops. At the employing of SCP-011 steps down from its pedestal. 2003 through 2004, SCP-011 reaches a human level of self-awareness. November 10, 2004, container procedures dropped. Custody of SCP-011 transferred to May 17, 2005. Reports that SCP-011 is romantically attracted to her. August 29th, 2006. Most recent psych test reports an IQ of 133.
And that was SCP-011. This statue really reminds me of a lot of another statue I know from a movie uh, called, uh, I believe, Night of the Museum or something like that. Or like the Abraham Lincoln statue, you know? Like, comes to life or something. Reminds me of that. I don't know why, but... Well, I think I know why, but... Let's move on. Anyway, the next SCP I'll be reviewing is... Pretty sure I'm going to be reviewing that one. Anyway, this has been Dr. Green, signing out. Goodbye.